Startling NG Heli used to be the meta strategy in Lunacy Battles 2, but today we're pairing it with the new hero Smudge Cat Azili and we'll see if it's just as overpowered. Let's get it. All right, guys, we are against worst one here on the map of Salt Calms, and we are bringing the strategy Dartling, NG, Heli, and Smudge Cat Azili. All right, so starting off here, what's my plan with the strategy? Well, this is a really good um kind of late game strategy because you have the overclock and MAD combination. Looks like my opponent is going on um, Druid, by the way. So they're probably going, they're probably going Druid sub farm. So fair enough there. So I think I'll still go for an early Bloom Trap, even though they have Druid farm in the strategy, just because it's still pretty valuable. So that's what our plan will be here. But um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Should I go for an early Azelia is the question there. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. But the nice thing about this map for my strategy, guys, is that the map tends to get these rounds sold a lot, which means these rounds tend to um, last pretty long since you don't pop the AI balloon path until it comes all the way down, which is great for us because we want these rounds super long for us. We want these rounds as long as humanly possible. So get up my um, engineer right there. And we're going to leak some lives here, but it's okay. It's okay. We got our engineer down. We're gonna switch over to blue balloons next round, I think. We switch over to blue balloons for a few for a few sets. We send some greens and send some yellows on top, just to cause some nice leakage on their side here. A nice little layer action. Balloon boost this as well. We're gonna get oversized nails and pin on my side. All right, we're good. We're good. We are good against this stuff, and just want to keep saving up for this balloon trap as soon as possible here. We are still leaking, so we need a double gun here. You get double gun. Double gun, double the fun. You know what I'm saying, guys? And then once I get, what? So this costs 3,500. So my dartling sells for 5.5. So once I get about $3,000, I'll be able to sell my dartling and get my balloon trap is the plan. And hopefully we can do that in round five because round five is when uh, white balloons can be sent out and white balloons will overrun my current defense. So I want to be able to get that balloon trap going for um those balloons, basically. I want to be able to get that balloon trap going for the white balloon rush of death. So I need three more income boosts. Oh, I accidentally popped that red balloon, so I anti all the round, which is not good. Two more income boosts. I might have to burn a boost here. I might have to burn a boost here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to burn a boost. It's okay. Calculated. Okay, we're good now. So one thing I'm going to want to do, I think, is retarget the balloon trap as well. After I collect it, I'm going to retarget it a little bit more to the left, so I'm not popping these balloons before they go in. That makes sense. There we go. That's that's more like it. That's more like it. We got a dartling down as well right here. Perfect. I think that's a better balloon trap spot because now every, whatever he sends me is always going to go into the trap there. It will pop a little bit more AI balloons before they enter the trap, but it's okay. I think that's a fair price to pay. He's got lightning up, but he'll have to get Druid of Wrath as well because that's not going to solo a lot of yellow balloons. Yep, they got Druid of Wrath as well there. Fair enough. Get our eco rolling up a little bit more. All right, we'll start space eco now. Get um, faster engineering on this guy. Maybe I've targeted a tiny bit more to the right because then it might still not pop the yeah, the balloons before they enter the trap. And it was still... Yeah, that's a little bit better because it still doesn't pop the pinks before they enter the trap, but it's also a little bit more to the right. So then it pops less AI balloons, if that makes sense. I think that's a little bit be better placement right there. A little bit more solid on the placement. Oh, he has stopped sending me. So now I target it all the way over there. They stopped sending me. I'll just retarget it. So then it only picks up AI. Know what I'm saying there. All right, I actually need to save up because I don't have enough for my hydro rocket pods right now. If they rush me, then I'm kind of screwed. Actually, no, I can afford if I collect the trap once. I think. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good now. We'll send them a little rush. Uh, are they dead? Yeah, I'm good there. Get that up. Thank you for the money. I appreciate it. All right, they got their reactor and stuff up, so they'll be fine here. Um, I honestly don't. Hmm. The thing I don't like about the trap being up here is it's going to anti-stall, which is not good for me. But I feel like this is the best trap spot on the map, so I mean, I can't really do anything about the anti-stall, huh? That I think about it. I can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. So I just got to live with it here. Let's target this um, totem towards my dartling, though. And we'll yellow eco while we save up for helis is the plan there. I'll send them rushes, but just not yet. I want to send them like BFBs and stuff later, I think is the plan there. BFBs and stuff. Maybe DDTs on round um, 26 to force a super storm would be smart. We're just going to yellow eco and save up for my heli while we do it. That's the plan there. With my eco planning. That's how it's going to work, ladies and gentlemen. He sends me a Moab. I think I just spam some more dartlings. I'm not going to send them a Moab. I might send them a fortified Moab. 
Fortified Maul wouldn't be a bad rush. Fortified Maul wouldn't be a bad rush, I don't think. Normal Maul wouldn't be that great, though. And you normally go Oban with the strategy, which Oban might be better. I'm not sure, because trees are pretty good, especially with for DDTs and stuff. But I wanted to try Zeely, because Zeely's going to help out against Zom, ZOMGs, which is also another thing that costs a lot to defend with the strategy. So, yeah, Zeely helps out a lot against DD, uh, ZOMGs. And the totem is pretty cracked late game as well. Alright, we'll send them a fortified mob. I forced them to upgrade their trees. And that trees upgrade costs like $3,000, guys. It's around 18 trees. So it's like, I think it's like $3,600 for that. So it's not cheap. Those trees are not cheap. Love to see that. Okay, they're sending me a fortifi fortified Moabs. We need to get up my um, Moab shove here. Then we'll be fine. I need to get up, um, what's it called? Bigger jets on this as well. We'll be good here. We'll be good here. Trust. The downdraft carries. Downdraft carries. Downdraft carries. Yep. Awesome. And now we can't send yell balloons anymore. So that's... Oh, am I dead? Holy cow. I'm, I mistargeted my helis and almost died. Almost died there. Now we stop ecoing and just start saving up for um more helis. And also send them a BFB here. Send them a BFB. Okay, what are they going to do against this BFB? They're getting up some submarines. Fair enough. Another heli. They boost. Are they good? Dude, that's... They popped the BFB layer so late. I think they're dead. They're dead. Yeah, he just didn't have any... Like, you didn't have a armor-piercing darts or anything to pop down the BFB layer a ton. You know what I'm saying? So, they just end up going down there. Awesome. I'll catch you on the next game. We'll go try it again. Alright, fellas, for our next match here, we're against the one and only Banana Legend 235. Okay, we're on the map Star here, so I've never actually gone this strategy on Star before. So I'm intrigued by how this is going to go. I'm interested. Alright, so I think our engineer placement is actually going to be um pretty interesting here. I want it to be in a good spot, obviously. I think we'll place it like right around here. And the reason is, um, I'll go over it in a second. I want to go for my Dartling first, though. The reason why we place it somewhere around there is because we can target the trap to this intersection. And then the trap's going to hit two times on the track, which is going to be really good there. So, And it's not going to pop any balloons before they enter the trap for the first time because I can target the trap out to the edge of its range. You know what I'm saying? So that is what we're going to do. But I think we'll go for um, our Zeely round one, of course. I'm also going to put it back here because I don't want it to be popping balloons before they enter the trap. So this is going to be the placement for my Zeely there. But it looks like Mr. Banana Legend is starting with her Druid right there. So big surprise there. Druid sub farm. Big surprise, big surprise. Get up my um, Engineer right about here. And yeah, I'm going to target the trap right into that intersection with this engineer spot, I think. So a good, a good plan of action here. Put oversized nails on this. Nice. Send them a few blue balloons and we'll send pink, uh, yellows on top. Now, we do want to try anti on these rounds to the best of our ability. So, I mean, stall on these rounds to the best of our ability. So, I am going to be trying to target my dartling in a way that these rounds end up being quite long for us. These rounds end up being quite long. Yeah, let's, let's put this on first for a few shots. Don't pop those AI balloons. Nice. I'm fine leaking, by the way. I'm fine leaking because I can get lives back with Heli pretty easily. So, leaking balloons to try to get these rounds longer is not a um, bad thing in the whatsoever. Get double gun here. Hopefully, next round I'll be able to forward my trap is the plan there. Hopefully, next round I'll be able to forward my trap. But I feel like this this map's not getting stalled as much as Basalt Columns was. Okay, we need two more income boosts. Two more income boosts. And now what we want to do is target the trap up there. It's going to take a while to throw it down. But once it throws it down, it'll be fine. Throw it down, throw it down, throw it down. Throw down the trap! Throw down your trap! Why is it taking so long? Holy cow! Oh my gosh. Dude, that took forever. Okay, normally it doesn't take that long. That was like ages, dude. Oh my lord. I had to start yelling at it, bro. I had to start... I had to start yelling at my engineer. It was it was slacking, dude. Okay, we'll get my Dartling down right there as well. Fair enough. They got their Druid of Wrath down, so they're gonna be fine against these balloons. But yeah, now you can see this this uh, trap spot's actually very good on this map because it hits on two spots and the engineer's not popping anything before they enter the trap, which is the two things you're looking for with a good balloon trap spot. I don't know if I can even afford say lightning on their side. Okay, they got the lightning. Awesome. Because I couldn't send that many balloons. He has stopped equal altogether, so I need to make sure to be very slow on my eco just so I can afford stuff. So we're going to switch over to Space Pinks here. I need to make sure to be very slow on my eco as well. But against a round 11 rush, I honestly don't even need a Hydro Rocket Pods. I can boost my trap and boost like a 0-2-2-2 Dartling 
and use um smudge cat's ability i think and i'll defend so i'm not sure if i even need a hrp for round 11 rushes here we'll see so i don't think i'll afford it with them not sending me any eco unless i just like stop eco all together which is not a good idea i shouldn't stop eco all together here i should not do that Yeah, we defend that. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm freaking talking about right there. That's how you do it. No HRP needed. Only see the stuff on the Ryan Mahalik channel here. All right, now we get up this HRP. Perfect. I can boost as well. I have boost back. Get placed on the trap again, please. Boost. Placed on the trap again. Dude, look at that defend. This trap spot is cracked. This trap spot's actually cracked. Holy cow. You love to see that. Okay, that was actually huge for me. Okay, we're gonna start rushing them a little bit. We wanna force a ballistic. There we go, force the ballistic. We're down to one boost, which is not good, but we have defended everything pretty well, I think. So keep ecoing here, get up a heli next. Cause we'll do the same thing we did last game where we just eco with yellows and um, build up helis with the rest of the money we'll get eventually. Now we are behind on money, obviously, because he did send a bunch of rushes and all that stuff, and he has not been eco into my trap. But um, on the bright side, they're behind on money as well. They can't have a very good eco because they weren't ecoing into my trap in the first place. And um, they sent me some expensive rushes too. So they're not in a great money spot either here. Let's use the Zeely Totem here. Boost this. We should be fine here. Nice. All right, that was my last boost. That was my last boost, by the way. That's not, let's be careful now because we don't have any boosts left, which is not good, but we're alive and that's really what matters. They rush me again. I think I go for a um, rocket storm if they rush me with a big rush. Actually, no, I should just stop equal because round 19 all outs can be scary. Hmm. I might be dead against round 19 all out in all honesty. I don't have boost. That's actually bad for they're doing it. Nope, they actually went for a farm. Okay, we'll go for my heli. I might be dead against around 19 of all out if they were to do it. I guess I go if I go if they'd send me one, I go for a um blue narrow denial system with my um Azili totem. And then I, I can maybe get a rocket storm as well. That's the plan for around 19 all out if they send me one. Blue narrow denial system. Okay. We have a we have a plan. We have a plan. Alright, they're gonna send me a mob here. Uh, not a mob. A mob's gonna come out from AI path, and I wanna pop this before it hits my trap. So target everything here at the top. I'll stop eat going here. Oops. There we go. Got that trap filled. Beautiful. What you love to see. And we'll keep on heli farming here. You can see that their farms are not very good for around 21 with Druid Farm sub here. Which is exactly what we love to see here. Exactly what we love to see also. Alright, throw on the trap for those. Nice. Dude, this trap's seeing so much value with the cross intersection, I'm telling you. This trap spot is actually cracked. It's actually cracked. All right, look at that. Look at all the defense we forced on their side, and they got used a boost as well. We love to see that. Forced all that and a boost. We take that every day of the week. So the one thing I'm worried about with my strategy, without Oban in it, is um, DDTs. I'll probably have to get like a triple XL for one DDT basically. I guess I can stall one DDT with a mob shove, but two DDTs I'll need a triple XL, which is kind of unfortunate there. We're gonna target this balloon trap over here. This will be my triple XL spot. For now, see if they send me. They are it's just okay. We're good. We're good there. Nice. And now we send them some. We want to force them to sell their banana central. I'm going to keep sending to sell their banana central. They're dead. Nope, they use trees again. Well done. Nicely done. Keep sending. You're gonna run out of money here soon, dude. You can't first strike forever. I saw one go through. GG. 
That's cold, bro. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, see the like button, subscribe with your forehead. Let me know your thoughts on the strategy down below. Ryan, like, out. Peace, lads.